people have always tried to visualise and understand our relationship with the sun, moon and planets. This miniature solar system, if you like, is one of those ways of doing that. These models are called orreries. This particular orrery, it's very up to date. It was made by a London instrument maker, John Addison, and based on his work and other examples, we think it was made around the 1820s. The great thing about each orrery is that it gives us an idea of what astronomers thought about the solar system in the 1820s. We chose this object because we wanted to show how people have tried to visualise the motion of the moon and its place within our solar system. If you look carefully, there's an extra section that's been added on. It's got gears underneath and it shows the Earth and the Moon. And the idea is that you unscrew the sun in the middle, take it out and add a lamp fitting. And then with that light, you can try and recreate the phases of the Moon as it goes around the Earth. But there's quite a lot going on in this very small model. This Moon exhibition is a really great opportunity for us to step back almost and look at the Apollo anniversary, Apollo 11, 50 years ago, but also to think big and look through the long history of our relationship with the Moon from all different cultural, social, scientific, artistic perspectives. And I really hope that it will give people a very grand sense of our relationship with our closest neighbour.